Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. That is here we have given a right angle triangle whose perimeter is given that is 182 units and its hypotenuse is given which is 85 units. Our target and our job is to find out the area of this right angle triangle. Now how can we solve this beautiful geometry math problem? First of all, let us suppose this is our triangle ABC. So let us suppose this is point A, this is point B, this is point C. Here we have given this side of this right angle triangle. So let us suppose this side is small B and this side is small C. So in this problem here we have given the perimeter of this closed figure. Now what is what about the perimeter? The perimeter of any closed figure is the sum of its all sides it's all boundaries so here the perimeter of this triangle is the sum of these three sides which is 182 so therefore from this figure we can write perimeter of triangle So the perimeter of this triangle will become A plus B plus 85. So this will become this A plus B plus 85 is equal to its perimeter is 182. So let's simplify this one equation. So here we will take this 85 to the right hand side. So this will become A plus B is equal to 182 minus 85. Now subtracting these two numbers it gives him about a plus b is equal to it is about 97 let's suppose this is our equation number first look into this one figure this is a right angle triangle so here in any right angle triangle we can apply the pythagoras theorem so here we will apply the pythagoras theorem and we will find out the value of a and b the base and height so by, by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so therefore here we can write by Pythagoras theorem which states that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so in this case our high for the news is 85 our per perpendicular is a and our base is b so we substitute these values here so this will become this is 85 square is equal to this is a square plus this is b square so this will become b square now let us suppose this is our equation number second now here in this step, in this step we will use an algebraic identity, a plus b whole square identity. So here in this step we will use this one identity, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. So here we have the value of a plus b from equation number 1 which is 97 and the value of a square plus b square from equation number 2 which is 85 square. So we substitute these two values here in this equation. So this will become value of a plus b is simply 97. So this will become 97 square is equal to it has value 85 square plus 2 times ab. And we will take this 85 square to the left hand side. So the value of 2 times a b will become that will become 97 square minus 85 square now this is the algebraic identity a square minus b square so therefore this right hand side will become 2 times a b will become this will become 97 plus 85 times 97 minus 85 let's simplify this right hand side so 2 times a b will become here this is 7 plus 5 is 12 so 2 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 1 is 18 this is 182 times now 7 minus 5 is 2 9 minus 8 is 1 so this is 12 we will divide both sides by 2 so this equation will become 
this two and this two will be cancelled two times one is two two times six is twelve so this is one hundred eighty two times six so therefore value of eight times will become six times two is twelve two one will be carried six times eight is forty eight forty eight plus one is forty nine so this is nine four is carried six times one is six six plus four is ten so here this gives him one thousand ninety two so here we will use this value of a times b and we will find out the area of the above right angle triangle so here we will find out the area of this right angle triangle so we know that the area of any right angle triangle whose base and height is given is half times the product of its two sides where this side represent the base of this triangle and this side represent the height or perpendicular of this triangle so here we have the value of a times b so we substitute the value of a times b here so this area will become this will become half times the value of a times b is simply 1092 let's simplify these two number two time one is two two time five is ten two time four is eight will become here will become 10 2 times 6 is 12 so this gives him 546 so therefore the area of the right angle triangle will become 546 square units so finally the area of this right angle triangle is it is about 546 square units that is our final answer and final target in last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry solutions. Thanks for watching.